You're listening to Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. What's up, ladies and gents? My name is Kel. Welcome to another episode of Truly Unruly with Marcus and Jessica Trufant. That's Marcus, and that's mm-hmm. Jessica. Trufants, what's going on? How you guys feeling? What's goody? What's goody? What's up? What's up? Pretty what's good. Up? Pretty good. A lot of sickness going on in our <coughs> camp. How are you, Kel? I'm good. That same sickness that you guys have already made it through my house a couple weeks ago. <laughs> so um, the sinus ick. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit is not fun. It scared me. I took a COVID test, but I am COVID free. So. Two. And him and his daughter, daughter are yeah. currently on antibiotics for sinus infections. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I'll be back in a couple of days. I'll be ready to rock. It's been my excuse not to work out. So, helps. <laughs> hey, you guys want to talk about an interesting uh, question that has been floating around on the interwebs? Let's do it. All right. Well. So, think about this. Think about this. Here we go. Here's, let, me, let me set the table for you. Okay. Let's say you are dating someone, right? But you've been dating for a month, maybe two months. Okay. Okay. And let's say that a gentleman is dating, or excuse me, the person that the gentleman is dating is a single mother. Okay. Should the man taking this single mother out on a date pay for her childcare? Is this a is is literally is this a legit question going around? I see this it. Yes. real. I did see this. Yeah. Is this yes. real? This I is this, this is this is a real thing. This is somebody's real like yeah. situation and real question. Yes. Yes. I sent it to yes. you, Marcus. I know. Yeah. I seen it. That's really fucking weird. Um I I don't you don't even know the child. Right. You're not akin to the kid. You're not a like you're not a stepdad. A, like yet. Yet. You're you're not even a boyfriend. I think that's very weird. And it, who whatever, whoever this person is, is that like an expectation of theirs? Like whoever takes them out needs to yeah. pay for the sitter? It's scary right now. It's a new generation. And what was said, Kel, and you uh, correct me if I'm wrong, that that the child is a part of her. So if this gentleman wants to um, uh-uh. go out with the mom and the mom has the child, this is all of me. So this is, um, and you got to, Embrace everything that comes with me. And she's saying that the child care is a part of that. So, you know, you pay for dinner, you pay for drinks, and the child care is on top of that. I don't um, subscribe to that. Or is it? Yeah, subscribe. Yeah, I don't subscribe to that, but I'm from a different generation. Nowadays, um, everything is cash at me this, cash at me that to even have a conversation, right? So it's a. crazy the game is crazy right now so i actually don't know but i think um most gentlemen that have something about themselves would be like wait this this isn't this this doesn't sound normal maybe for someone that may be living with someone or close to that and you know the kid and you've built this relationship and you guys are together together but first dating and all that no, a hundred percent no. For Why me, would you still even with your no. living? I mean, right. And you're talking about the complete package. So when you're dating, like taking somebody out on a date, don't know how many dates they've been. I we it would only be one date if I had to pay for child care for somebody else, right? But no, that just it, like I I don't. I don't understand it. It's a new that generation, is not though. What, it's, it's not a package. That's not part of the deal. That's what they say. Like that's that's weird. That is weird. That's exactly what they say. The cash at me to to um, no. to see what that thing do, and you got to cash at me for the babysitter as well. 
No, um, I think that's that's weird. That's weird. That's not. Now we talk about oh, there's no normal. That's not. That's abnormal. Fuck that. Hey, and you got to get back like, on the social webs. I got to take just yes, crazy you out, out and basically take your kid out. Ah, goodbye. There's no way. A couple <laughs> things here. I'm just gonna play devil's advocate because that's my job. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. But let's let's say though <laughs> that you're dating a woman and you really really like her and but you're taking her out every weekend every Saturday, um, you know, you guys are going out and you're taking her out and let's say it's gonna cost you like fifty bucks each night for the babysitter to come. That can turn out to be like two hundred bucks a month, and for any single parent, male or female, that could be expensive. So right. when Let's say you you're doing that for three months, you know, that's that's six hundred bucks in three months that, you know, (laughs) that you you might need someone to kick in a little bit because, you know, it's expensive. Kel, I do. I do understand that. But it's kind of like when you're younger and you want to go out and you don't have any money. (laughs) <laughs> Either you do not go out or you borrow from a friend. So keep your ass at home mm. if you cannot afford childcare. Do not go out every weekend. Do not do those things. If you, it is for me, it might be an ego thing, but it is my job to pay for my kids. I would never expect somebody to pay for my children. That is just not who I am. That's not how I move. That's not how I work. But there are specific individuals that do work that way. But I'm here to say that's that's outlandish. Can it at least be a conversation? Maybe from um, not a demand because this lady... It seems like it was more of a, okay, this is what it is. If we're going to go out, um, I need you to pay for the child care. But maybe mm-hmm. if it's some conversation, all right, man, um, <clears throat> it's a little tough around here. I love spending time with you, and I'm speaking as the lady right now, but, um, hey, I need a little help with the baby. I talked to moms, and she can't watch the baby tonight, so um, can you – can you throw me a dub or something like that to get us a little sitter for a couple hours till we get back, right? You couldn't bring your voice up higher to be a woman? Uh, I don't really. Like a little bit? <laughs> play like that. I don't play those type of games. I'm, and, not, yeah. I'm not for that. <laughs> that yeah. Okay, I get what you're saying as well, but my th- we don't know. Is this a first date? Is this multiple dates? Because I'm sorry, do not it ever... It doesn't matter if you're... It n- does matter. You sure? It does matter. If that were me and I were to do something like that, if that was in my character, I would, I wouldn't throw it on you immediately. I would wait. And Mm. like you said, after a few dates, I would be like, you know what? I can't go. I cannot afford to pay for any more child care. Does it have to be a relationship with a child? Kale, and I'm asking you uh, this, you too, from the male perspective, if you're going to pay for somebody to give a ba- uh, get a babysitter, do you have to kind of know that child and be like, okay, I'm going to get little Jerome, uh, 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 <laughs> I'm going to get him a sitter tonight so we can go have a good time? Or is it just like, okay, I don't even know this kid. I haven't seen him because we're not like that yet. Kale, what you think? Do you got to have like a little relationship with the kid at least or? If you want to seal the deal. My, no my thing. Oh, God, that's a great question, Marcus. Um, dudes pay to play, from, though. So that's why I that's think what, that's what I'm saying. Dudes may be apt to be like, all right, if I want to see moms and this is what it takes, I might have to do did this. Did you just right? ask Kel and then I answer Sorry. the question? <laughs> Sorry. Yes. I, I, yes. I, I'm, a, I'm a little I'm, I'm kind of colder. So. I come from more wrong of a... Wrong person a, a, to ask. A, 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 yeah, I am the wrong person to ask. Um, I come from a position where I'm like, why should I pay? Because clearly your baby daddy didn't stay to pay. Mm-hmm. So there you go. what am I uh, paying Kel, for? That is, there are many reasons why women and men in their relationships. 
I it's know, not right, Jess. right. You're right. Which has you're nothing right, to right. do with the new person, though. So exactly. So why? By Kale saying that, I kind of agree with that. I'll give you this: if I was seeing this woman for a substantial amount of time, and you know, obviously, you know, we don't live together. But if I've been seeing somebody for like six months, seven months, eight months, and I'm pretty much like boyfriend, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, yeah, we'll yeah, take care yeah. of that. We'll make sure someone watch Shorty. Like, yes. that's fine. But if it, but if this is like the first like, like five dates, six dates, <laughs> like, ten, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> it's it goes with the other thing too, with the other argument that, you know, that we've probably all heard about. Okay, if I take a woman and her kids out, do I pay for her kids too? If I Absolutely. take her and her kids out to dinner, do Wait. I pay for the kids? If you take, if well, you say, I want to take you and your kids out okay. to dinner, you're paying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Or like, what, when the check comes and there, he gives it to you, well, kids, run out as soon as you can. <laughs> and I'm going to. So, no, 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 no. But Jess, what if the situation is I want to take you out to eat, but you can't find a sitter, so you have to bring your kids. Now, am I paying for the kids too? Well, if you don't have a sitter, then you don't go out. And if you don't have a sitter and you want to go out, you warn him ahead of time. I'm going to be bringing my kids. Right. That's what I'm saying. I got to be. And it depends on the guy. Right. So I don't know. Got to set it up first. You got to tee it up. But a lot of women um, may just, and a lot of guys would be okay with it as well. Okay, okay. let's go out. The kid is there. All right. Oh, damn. I ain't got no sitter. All right. Let's just stay home and watch a movie. And I'm going to put the kid in the room and I'm going to lock the door. Right. Um, More women do that than you would I'm gonna probably put like the to kid say, yeah. in the room and lock the door yeah. or you put the kid upstairs or just in the because corner. we lock our doors doesn't mean that okay people that are dating we're gonna have to do a poll because this is what it is people with kids when they don't have sitters or they don't have someone to watch their kids they still want to date they still they do lock their, their doors not in lock their doors every movie the child comes out right, but you and still... witnesses a shooting, a fucking, like right. something. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, shooting and a fucking. <laughs> you continue to move forward. You don't let the kid, in most cases, uh, stop your, your pursuit of this new um, That interest. sounds so crazy. Does, your child is your first interest that is who you should consider you do consider but or you, just leave your child home alone and go sometimes out. people want to split the baby no pun intended but right you, you still want to hang out because but we're gonna wait a minute is that is that like a sports term split the baby no i think that's a thing i want to follow up with what marcus just said Mm-mm. you'd be surprised that there you know how there's a lot of women or just people in general that say, you know, I don't want to bring, you know, random men or whatever around my kids, Mm -hmm. blase, blase. But there's like a loophole because I've heard of this (laughs) happening where women say, well, I don't want to bring random men around my kids, but I don't have a babysitter. So I'm going to just wait till my kids fall asleep and then have the man come over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I think that I think that's very reasonable. I just said that, and you just talked about it. The baby's supposed to be you your first said, love. Lock the door. Lock the door. Put the baby to sleep is the same thing. The kid no, is it's still not. there. The that kid is, is still literal. there. Lock the door. That's no, but the kid was... is still there though. Like that's what the, I'm saying. The, there, there are those moms that'll be like, yeah, I, you know, I want a dude to come. I have this dude coming over. I got to make sure my kids stay asleep, so I give him Benadryl or some shit. You know, some people, that is probably a thing. But yeah, you drug your you child. S- the parents do it on airplanes. They do it on airplanes. I was told to do that, actually. I was By too. a pharmacist. <laughs> Whiskey on their gums? Yep, is that drug thing? your kids. And I'm stupid, and I didn't follow the directions. But back to, there, there, there is um, a, a healthy population of women and men. Right. With kids that would... Have people over, wait till the child is asleep, and 
um, proceed with right. dating life. And I don't know if I see a whole lot wrong with that. But I paying for somebody else's um, child care when you first meet them, no. And also, take it a step further, she could put her child to bed, shut and not lock the door. I took that literally. Not lock the door, make sure her child sleep, and then leave. See, I don't believe in that one. I don't believe in leaving my kid in the house asleep by themselves mm, because mm, mm. the moment some this is something we wish we could have done. So, know, but, but, the, but Jessica, the moment something bad happens and God forbid it does, you're going to jail. It's all good right. until but it's I not. But I think right? that is something that happens as well. A lot of people do that. Yeah. I, oh, yeah. No, Absolutely. we would never yeah. do that. We have suffered for many, many years because we couldn't leave our kids <laughs> alone. But now, yeah. Hi. Burn rubber. Yeah, I couldn't right. do that one. I yeah, know. I feel like that's a lot not of good. parents that's here not in safe. Vegas do that. I've seen a lot of horror stories. Well, on when that. you're I mean, you see shows and, and movies. you don't have any babysitter, any outlet, your dude is not paying for your kid to have a babysitter. You're tired. You're stressed out. And you want to get out the house. Parent, put that child to bed and call up your dude. Go on a date, or no, he calls you, no, and you're like, no, "I no. yeah, I can go." No, and no, then you put your kids no. back. I know it's not right, yeah, but because piss poor. Quick question: So, what happens then when, let's say, your kid wakes up and you ain't there, and they're like, "Where's my mommy? Where's my mommy?" And they start crying, freaking out, and then they might even almost run to the neighbor's house or that, or even call 911. I think something's happened to my mom because my mom is gone. How do you well, explain that one to the authorities when they show up and they're like, oh God, and they have to kick the door down because there's a, a child alone in this house at 2 a.m. A toddler running around the neighborhood. Well, is it a toddler? Toddlers can't dial 911. But a sure? child that possibly can dial 911 can possibly have an iPad or a little something to text where they mommy? can call their mom or text their mom and say, where are you at? Kids aren't that logical though. If they're in panic mode, let's think about it. We all have children here. Okay. All right. Imagine our kids at four. I mean, hell I got a four year old now mm -hmm. panicking. If Sage mm -hmm. Sage would freak out. She would scream at the top of her lungs and she'd be yeah. sitting on the floor crying, screaming yeah. like, is but she'd okay, survive. Jessica? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> to me, no, that's not okay. It's a real if, life thing, Mark though. But if I Mark knew so that my child, right I would... I am pretty disgusted. I would, no. Who am I, I am to? like... Who am I I am next to every weirdly night? lenient and kind of... Yeah, no. I my No, my kids, I would... Oh, I can't even imagine. It breaks me to know that they would be doing, put, I put them in that position. So I'd never do it. However. Sometimes, right? Sometimes. Sometimes you just got to get away. And it's like, like, I don't know. I could be wrong, but like back in the day, like, don't you think when parents, and I think it still happens. Well, no, it probably doesn't happen. No, no, I'm kind of happens. thinking of baby's kids. When, <laughs> well, that's when the mom has to go work and all the kids are in their house by themselves and all, and they have to fend for themselves. I mean, it happens and we've probably all, ex well, nope. no, <laughs> I have not experienced it actually. Well, <laughs> um, my parents didn't do anything like that. It happens. Even dating women as a younger me. And How do we have to? Why does it have to be like just women? No, I said it earlier. It could be women and kids. There's single dads out there that's still trying to get to it and they got kids. And they well, have think to. about it. Would a dad do that? Because, you know. Um, I think if you're responsible enough to be a single dad, you're, you're, you're already a wait. step ahead of the game because it's not the. 
How many single dads? I don't know. Are there a majority nah, of single the, dads uh, go to the mom? Think, think, but thinking, but thinking, yeah, but thinking that, uh, as a, as a, as a dude, like single dad, we're not doing all this. Oh, I got to put my kid to sleep and sneak him out. Yeah, nah, yeah. ma, pull up. Single dad is <laughs> yep, gonna tuck the baby right. totally underneath the blanket. That. Right next to both right, of us, right, and right, still right, be right, all right. right. All of us gonna watch the movie together. We all watching the movie tonight. This all of us mom. is doing the Come rubble on. in the jungle, <laughs> and we gonna slide the baby over just a little bit with the elbow, and have enough room to to do what we need to do. And that's just the way of life, and that's okay as long as the baby is still asleep. Or the Not when you're asleep. dating. You do that when you're like married and in a I relationship. I think you do it while you're dating okay. as well. Uh, yeah, There's a healthy population of people up. that are doing that. I, I do believe me. that. Yeah. That is pull up. And it's not, I don't want my child to meet you. Yeah, no. Nah. No, nah, this is my homegirl. Well, no, I won't say that. Well, what would you do? I don't want to give Wanda. out the I don't want to give out the impression that <laughs> single dads are irresponsible because that's not true. But Well, we're I talking think, about single moms being irresponsible. No, so single moms aren't irresponsible, but I'm saying it happens. And just because you have a kid, that doesn't stop your dating life people still want to go out and meet people and live right right and, and um just because you have a kid that doesn't shut everything down yeah you want to be responsible you want to be respectful of your um kid and all the situations that come with that and the person that you are uh courting or that you're seeing they got to be um respectful as well but you still got to get to it from time to time you know so sometimes yeah you just put the baby to sleep right you tiptoe around the house and, and right. you make it a game. You guys be like, and you walk to the fridge and get some juice and stuff. Nobody got no clothes on. The baby still sleep on the couch. Yeah, we watching the what? movie. And all these are hypothetical things, things I've never done before, been a part of, but uh, it happens. <laughs> I Were you a so. part of this with with me? Because I don't... I don't know. I think it could have been like... I was going to say. Uh, before you, a long, long time ago. Yeah, because you long. like to date women with kids. Um, you don't know what I like. Oh, before I know. I around. know no, you, you had you, people you with kids. You don't know what I like. <laughs> I did. You, you, uh, yep, you yeah. did. Yep. You I went to school with one of them, so... <laughs> oh, shit. God. Yep, I went to college with one of them. <laughs> I'm not going to say what? that because I could get in trouble for that, right? She was um, a stripper. Easy. And hey. Yo, chill, yo. son. God yo. damn. <laughs> yeah. So, no, and good. when she found out that I was dating Marcus, she got real salty. Yeah, no, I stand on and all mine. I'm, I'm, all right. like, I'm all right with that. You, you, you're fine. All right. We all got a history, yeah. and that's okay. It's, that's that's it's right. That's it's, fine. It's, it's, yeah. it's okay. I didn't it's say right. it was bad. It's funny because it's just a part of the. Pa it's just a part of the beginning, like the very, very beginning. And I don't even know how she found yeah. out what? I was dating you. Uh, yeah. hey, I might have. I don't know. Yeah. You, you ever been? You ever been in a situation where you go by the house and the kids there? She'd be like, "Don't leave the bedroom. <laughs> you got to stay in the bedroom the whole time. <laughs> be quiet. Be quiet." <laughs> I think she was coming Don't to say him all the time. Um, you'll never know. I, I will think. never know, but I can tell you no, she tell you. was like, good luck down. with him. I'm I'll like, oh, okay. All right. Okay, girl. Oh, she was hating? Okay, go strip Ooh. and then let's go to class together. Wait a minute. Talk about these things. Stripping is okay. Stripping is okay. Well, good back when I was younger no it wasn't mm, well so now yeah fuck that get it how you live but at the time yeah continue to go strip and support your daughter and leave me and my re well we weren't in a relate we weren't even in a relationship yet leave me dating this man out of it but anyway any we i digress i digress he dated a stripper <laughs> she had a kid he dated another woman she had a kid he dated another woman wait a minute a wait, 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 wait 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 well pig piggy <laughs> easy hey whoa <laughs> the other pump one the breaks pump the brakes a couple times like pump the brakes and those to... two were white and the stripper whoa. was mixed or biracial, excuse me. But um, yeah, I know all your... But with all that said, we um, were able to date and have a good time and continue oh, to oh, go oh, wait, out wait, and wait, do wait, stuff. Wait. 
one was Piggy and the other one with the child, her name was 30 plus. That's what they oh, called her. 30 plus. And an older lady. That's okay. Sorry. Right. And we were, <laughs> I was 22, 20, 22. And yeah, 30 plus. Allegedly. All this is allegedly because you really don't have proof and the people don't have proof either. So yeah, actually, did it happen? I guess we'll never know. I had one of them hey. serve me at the Olive Garden. And one of them served me at another restaurant. Red sticks a different or one. Um, pasta. <laughs> you ever, you ever, you ever, yeah, hey, hey, you ever, been, you ever been out with? You? I've been in this position before. Hey, Marcus, you ever go out to dinner with your woman, and and the chick that ends up waiting your table is the chick that you smashed before, and you don't say nope. nothing, and you and a girl, wait, you and a girl look never at each happened. other. Never happened. Okay, this happened to me. And never it, been uh, there. <laughs> The girl, the girl, the girl, wink, the, wink, girl wink. The, the girl, the girl stared at me super hard. And I, I stared at her super hard and she walked away and my girl looked over at me and was like, you fucked her, didn't you? You can tell and like, immediately. And I was like, God damn. And she was like, I can just Who? tell her? how the way you guys look nah. at each other. You, I was like, I don't know her. She goes, you, f she full named me. You fucked her, Kellen. Don't fucking lie uh, to me. And I'm like, the government. I did. I was like, I did. See? <laughs> And one of the girls, I went out. Was I with you when Piggy served us? I don't know. But I, another girl, she didn't have any kids, but she was around. I don't even know how I figured out. Maybe somebody else knew that she was sleeping with. Maybe I told you. You and we, I was with my girls and this girl is our server. And I'm like, do you know how many servers he? Okay. Anyways. Um, she was the server, and I'm like, you guys, you Yo, guys. This show has he, taken a turn for the worse. He slept with her. He slept with her. And so when it was time to tip her, my friend le left her a handful of pennies. Foul. Jess and the gang was such a menace back in the day. I know. The day. They were they, they a fucking were gang, bro. They were a menace. Terrorizing dude, the neighborhood. It was unfortunate. I kind of liked it on the low, though. So it was, it was unfortunate, but, you know. It is what it Don't is. you love That's it when they get mad today. about girls? Don't, isn't it funny that they get mad about girls you smashed before them or girls that you smashed when you weren't even like official yet? So it well, didn't it's actually different, matter Kel, to when they're serving you and you literally partner up in school with them. And <laughs> no it's difference. a little different. I, the I difference mean, is that us dudes, like in most situations, I know some dudes is extra player and they come from the school of uh sugar free and such no but, um, not a good school it's a uh, great school the women are so much better than us though men we're we're so we are oblivious and we're about our own shit and trying to be sneaky and this and that and you never will know what the women is doing yeah they may have kids and yeah they're doing their thing and they're serving or whatever but you never really know exactly what's going on until you know, it's too late. Or look, I, I've always okay. I, I've always believed in this one mm -hmm. saying that mm -hmm. um, there's always gonna be that one dude that's always gonna have her heart, and if it ain't you or it's her mind, nigga. heart, mind, yeah. soul, however you want to say it. I know plenty of women out here who are married and all this, but at the end of the day. I know that they still got that dusty ass ex boyfriend. <laughs> that whenever that nigga DM them or or text them happy birthday, it's ugh, I hate him. Oh my god, mm -hmm. and it's just like, oh yep, I see, it's him. always that one nigga I that will him. always That's have her. Ah, oh, God, I hate him. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah, there's, oh, there's every 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 <laughs> woman has one. Like I don't right. put shit past. That's fair. None that's, of these. That's what shits. I say. It's all fair in the game of uh, just in the game in general. Until so, it yeah. happens to I get it. You. So okay, so the moral of the story is that we all agree that if you go out on a date. Don't expect this nigga to be paying for your kid's child care. You need to take care of your shit. That's still wild as fuck to even... Okay. Somebody's doing I it, mean, though. Somebody's Jess, doing it. I know. Mm, Jess, somebody. Somebody. Yes. Plural. And these are the same women that don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory on a first date. You're and right. have standards of where it is that they want to eat. 
Well, then that the is that should signal a red flag to the dude. I want to go to not the Sizzler or like what's it? St- I want <laughs> to go to Ruth. Sizzler. Right. I want to go to Ruth Chris. Can you pay for a sitter? I would be like, hmm. But guys are wired differently. You would probably do both things just to solidify the, the panties. Your masculinity? No. There, there's do, there the are crevasse, dudes. There, they, yeah. yeah, to get to the crevasse. Or yeah, to the stun crevasse. and the showboat. Yo, just all right. To, yeah. I got it, but I don't got it. But I'm going to try to make it seem like this to you. So yeah. I'll get you a sit up so for your kid two, and you come it's out two with me. people that just don't got it. Right. All right. But cool. in that situation, if you do treat um, the lady and the kid, then he's a, a boss in that it, situation. It sets a precedence and expectation. I would kind mm-hmm. of be like, well. It's foul out here. So I don't even know. I can't even judge. I know that the game is foul right now. Though, and then it becomes. You know what? I can't like one of our. Sh- I can't afford to get my nails done. Yeah, that's part of the game. Or not even afford. I need my nails done. Yep, that too. I Question need. Mark. Were we talking about wigs but or weave? Up? I need my weave redone. I need my weave done. Why not? Shh. Why? It's popular culture right now. Not. Pay like you weigh or pay to to. Damn, play. pay like you weigh. Or pay to where play. Are, mm. Oh, I'm like, where are you getting these from? And to no. you niggas out there that want to do that shit because you want to stunt, stop tricking. I'm not mad at him, no. Played. I'm not mad well, at him. Well, maybe who cares? Do yeah, it. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not mad at him, Kale, at the young cats or even the old cats that may be doing something like that. If that's just part of their game, hey, that's them. Everybody's different. Everybody got a different hustle. And, hey, um, I know a couple cats that used to say it ain't tricking if you got it, right? So if you... No, you, that's true. Yeah, if you want to like, move that way, that's, that's on you. It's still tricking. Fuck that. They, they, you like, made that let, up to feel more secure in your tricking. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm like, don't be sitting here and letting somebody like openly get over on you because like you want to prove the point that, well, I got it like that just because it, it strokes your ego. Some like, people get up for that, just like though. A dude. That's what they want, though. That's what they need. That's what they live for. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll do that for you. And I don't even want none. I don't even want to hit. But I'm going a, I'm to a do this for you. And now... Um, you're going to do this for me? You're in it's my... It's transactional? Yeah, like, yes, if I pay for your kid, you've got to drop the draws? I can't... That's what it is, Justin. You're not understanding the new world or where we at right now. That's where we're. And you do. You have not dated. You don't know. I'm not dating, but I'm seeing it from a distance. He has no idea. I see TikToks. I see the um. I see the social webs and where everything is going. Because I'm not on any of that. Yo, there is that wild video. There's a few of these videos of dudes taping chicks that they done flown out. And as soon as they fly the chick out, they drive them back to the airport because they find out that the chick ain't fucking. Yeah. And then the chick's like, what are you doing? And she, he's like, nah, you ain't, I flew you out here. You ain't giving up no draws. You're, you're yeah. going back to the airport. Or they just leave them. the chick back off at the airport. That's a or leave special them. kind and of. And they don't even give them a return flight. Do, that's, that <laughs> takes a lot of, something is wrong with that. There's a, we're not naturally wired to do that. Oh, you ain't fucking. You're getting back on the, pl- like, really? That's, that's like our natural instinct when somebody doesn't want to have sex with you maybe because they're not ready but oh i flew you down to fuck well unless that was the agreement no what what are you flying down for if you're not liking the gentleman or if you don't want to get involved in that way i'm not flying down for that i know but why are you flying to down for in the first like place a date or like to, for the experience no hell no dudes ain't wired like that and you know that <laughs> You know that. Yeah, you know that. Exactly. Jess. That Come guys that. aren't wired like that. So you know, might think that, but you know what time I it is. I don't think it's, I don't think You're it's, flying over, you're staying a night with somebody in a hotel or at his house and you're just gonna hang sleep out. Sleep on the couch for, and just hang yeah. out. Yeah, Come yeah on that's what we're gonna do. And if you don't well, want to do that and you try to return me back, we're gonna fight. No, yeah, we're gonna it. fight before Shit. I go. I, be I would never... Just be like, oh, okay. I'd be like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? That's what they do. But here's the thing. But Jess, here's the thing, though. If you're flying down, if you've already, like, made the conscious decision of, I'm going to go fly and hang out with this dude, 
you clearly like this dude. You're not going to go and fly allegedly. and hang out with them. Yeah, if you don't like because him, a lot unless of new you just want a free trip. Flying down fly for the free trips and the experience. Fly fly. Trip. I'm going to bring one of my homegirls with me and that type of shit. If you're flying, if you're flying down because you obviously had peaked interest or you just <laughs> wanted a free trip. Or what I would say, don't be alarmed. Okay, cool. You, you, you're you not on that. You I'm would not, be honest with them. I know. Yeah. I'm not the type of guy that's going to press. Okay, I'm going to bring another female over. I hope you're okay with that, right? Okay with that, yep. That's that's the type of conversation just, you might have and, to and have, she, right? And then she, in the, then she in the other room. Oh my, to over to a friend. Oh my God, this yeah. nigga done brought another bitch over here. Damn, why do you keep replaying your life? That's not my life. I haven't, you, I don't do that. You have done that. Not pretty much. Exactly, flewed somebody out like that, but. Not flown her out. Or have you? No, nah, I don't really. Oh, can't remember. It's been so many. No. All right. Okay. We're wrapping it up here. All right. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Baby. Yeah. Wrap it up. Because <laughs> Jess is going to fucking fly off the handle here and it's going to, no. we're going to go to a dark no. place that we do not need to go to. It's not uh, dark. Truly anymore. unruly, y'all. Marcus and Jessica yeah. Truth. We're holding hands now for everybody that's looking. I know. We're holding oh. hands off camera. <laughs> L- listen, listen to us on your favorite podcasting platform. Remember to like, leave a review, and subscribe. That helps out the podcast a lot. And you can catch the visual on YouTube. Catch us every Sunday on Converge and follow us on all things social at truly unruly underscore podcast on social. And if you have a question for us, yes, if you have a question for us and wants to answer any of your questions mm-hmm. or help yes, you get through yes, any of your yes. relationship hardships, mm-hmm. we are your experts, kind of. Uh, email us, trulyunrulypodcast at gmail.com. <laughs> That's it. Boom. All right. Word. Till next time, y'all. Peace and much love. <laughs>